So some things I want to point out when it comes to Cody Ashey is we looked at the Baltimore Orioles lineup in the first half of last year. They were one of the worst teams in the league at taking walks. In fact, through the first half, they were ranked 28th in all of Major League Baseball when it comes to taking walks with just 261. And for context, the league leader had 393. Now, as an offensive strategy coach, which Cody Ashey was, his job was to find a new strategy, right? So in the second half, the Orioles actually bumped all the way up to sixth overall in baseball when it comes to walks with 215. So that right there to me is a bonus, seeing that he's able to make adjustments on what they want to do. Now, we also saw the team struggle mightily in the second half, whether that be for strategy or or what. We don't know. That could have been on the players, could have been on the coaches. It remains to be seen. But I'm trying to take a little bit of a positive here with, with Cody Ashey and kind of give you some information of what we could expect to see. Another thing that I really like to see in the first half, the Orioles were one of the top teams in baseball when it comes to pull percentage. Then when you look into the second half, along with this new strategy that they came up with, they were down in the bottom 20s of all of baseball when it comes to pulling. They took their opposite field approach and really, really put it to use. Now, the numbers look the same, right? They were both actually first and second half at 24.6%, but they went from 15th in the first half at 24% all the way up to sixth in the second half. So they were hitting the ball the other way a lot more than other teams. The big thing with the Orioles, when they made this change to start seeing more pitches in the second half, they also started using the middle of the field a little bit more. So their their middle of the field percentage is one of the tops in baseball. That's a strategy that almost any hitting coach tries to preach. So we're looking at a strategy from Cody Ashey, watching him find something to adjust to, and he did it, and they did it well for a long time until they really just hit a rock wall. But the biggest thing I want everybody to remember, so a lot of the complaints in the first half was how much the Orioles were swinging at the first pitch. Now, numbers showed that they should have been swinging at the first pitch, but when we looked at the second half, they also started taking more pitches. They started generating more walks. Their OPS went up, and they generally were kind of hitting the exact same all year. So we basically, I'm going to put that little bit of a bump there to Cody Ashey with the offensive strategy. So overall, from Tommy Joseph and Cody Ashey, what are we going to look for, right? We still want the players to try and drive the ball the opposite field. We still want them to try to hit some home runs. At times, it is going to be fine for them to swing at the first pitch and be aggressive, especially with runners on. Sometimes that's the best pitch you see. I just wanted to, if they're going to swing at the first pitch, let's make sure that our offensive strategy is to make sure that we're swinging at a good first pitch. Not just any first pitch. We, we saw that a lot last year, especially with runners in second and third, one out. And so we gave up a lot of a bats with one out and runners in scoring position. So for me, Cody Ashley needs to come in. Tommy Joseph, the same thing. They need to work together. They need to get these guys to buy in to hunt the fastball and or the changeup, whatever, whatever they feel like is going to be coming in that situation. They're going to have analytics on this stuff. But to hunt that pitch and make sure that it's in the zone. In a, in, a, in a spot that they can hit it, not just anywhere. Just because you guess change up and you see a change up does not mean you need to swing at it. If that bottom is going to fall out of the bottom of the zone, you're going to swing through it, let it go. So that's what I want to see from Cody Ashey and Tommy Joseph. Develop a good plan and let's stick to it. What you did in the second half as far as drawing more walks, getting the OPS up, using the right side of the field a little bit more, or the opposite side of the field a little bit more, Those are good hitting mechanics. Those are things I want to pull over into 2025. I I don't mind the home runs. I don't mind. Did the Orioles live and die by the home run too much? Potentially. I don't mind it, though. If that's an organizational thing, keep at it. But let's just, let's hunt good pitches a little bit more. Let's throw last year out the window, come in, make some adjustments with certain guys. So we watched Westberg and Kowser both change their stance during the offseason last year, and both had, I would say, fairly successful seasons outside of an injury with Westberg. Do that with potentially maybe Adley Rutschman. Do that with some of these other guys. Find something that you can tweak and get these guys ready to go. I have confidence in Cody coming in. He's been on the staff. The team hit very well in 22. They hit very well in 23. They hit very well in the start of 24. So I'm, I'm confident that keeping the same offensive strategy, 
minus a few little tweaks will set this guy up in a very good situation. And what I like too is Joseph and Ashy both, one, they were teammates, but both played in the major leagues. They know how to interact. They know what to look for certain things. And I feel, and they're both young. So getting on the same page and talking to these younger players, that might be a big bonus the Orioles need. So as we all know, we don't know what we're going to expect until the guys get out on the field in spring training and in March and April and start really kind of actually putting the bat on the ball. But I'm trying to find a little bit of pauses here to give a little bit of optimism here to Birdland, and I'll catch you guys later.